Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 3-23 that is taken from chapter number 3, Mechanical Properties of Materials, that is taken from Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So, statement is the stress-strain diagram for many metal alloys can be described analytically using ramberg osgood three-parameter equation, which is this one, where E, K, and N are determined from measurement taken from this diagram. Clear? Using the stress strain diagram shown in the figure, take E is 30 into 10 to the power 3 KSI, determine the other two parameters K and N, and thereby obtain an analytical expression for the curve. So you can see this is stress strain curve, and this is Ramberg Osgood equation. So you have to find this K and N. Clear? So let's start with the solution. So as per Ramberg, Ramberg, Osgood equation, we have strain is equal to stress divided by modulus of elasticity plus K into stress power N. Let it, this is your equation number one. Clear? Now using now from stress strain diagram, We will calculate this. We will calculate the stress and strain. So for you can see here, this is stress, which is 40. So as per this stress, we have strain 0 0.1. So stress is if stress is 40 KSI clear. And your strain is 0 0.1 put this value put these values in equation number one so what you will get is that strain is 0 0.1 stress is 40 ksi so 40 divided by e is 30 into 10 to the power 3 ksi plus k which is not known is sigma is 40 power N. So from here you will get 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.00133 plus K into 40 power N. And if you further simplify it, so 0 0.1 minus 0 0.00133 is equal to K into 40 power N. And this will give you 0, 0 0.09867 is equal to K into 40 power N. That this is your equation number 2. Now again from stress strain diagram we will choose another value of stress and strain. So let you can see you can choose this point. You can choose any other one, but these are feasible. So stress is 60 and strain is 0 0.3. So I will write it strain is equal to 60 KSI and strain is 0 0.3. So put it in equation 1 again. So when you put it, you will get 0 0.3 is equal to 60 divided by E is 30 into 10 to the power 3 plus k into 60 power n and if you further simplify it 0 0.3 is equal to 0 0.002 plus k into 60 power n and we will get 0 0.3 minus 0 0.002 is equal to k into 60 power n and this term will give you 0 0.298 will be equal to k into 60 power n let this is your equation number three now what we will do is that we will divide equation two by equation three 
so this is equation number two 0.0.09867 is equal to k into 40 power n and we will divide it by equation 2 which is 0 0.298 divided by k into 60 power n and you will get it 0 0.3311 kk will cancel each other clear and we will left with 40 power n divided by 60 power n and that will give you 40 divided by 60 power n will be equal to 0 0.3311 n from here you will get 0 0.3311 will be equal to 0 0.66 6 7 power n now what we will do is that take natural logarithm on both side so what we will get is ln of 0 0.3311 will be equal to ln of 0 0.667 power n so from here you will get ln of 0 0.3311 will be equal to n times ln of 0 0.6667 and we are interested to find n so n will be equal to ln of 0 0.3311 divided by ln of 0 0.6667 so n will be equal to n will be equal to this will give you minus 1.105 divided by minus 0 0.404 so you will get n will be equal to 2.73 so this is the equation n is equal to 7 2.73 now what we will do is that put n is equal to 2.73 in any equation either equation 2 or 3 so here we are I am going to put it in equation 2 so equation 2 is this one so you will get 0 0.09867 is equal to k into 40 power 2.73 okay and k will be equal to 0 0.09867 divided by 40 power 2.73 and when you solve it you will get k will be equal to 4.17 into 10 to the power minus 6 clear so these are the value of n and k and if you put it in this equation so your final rumbert osgood equation will become equal to strain is equal to stress over e plus k was 1 4.17 into 10 to the power minus 6 into sigma power 2 power 2 power 2.73 which will be your final equation that is being asked to obtain an analytical expression for the curve and this equation is valid only for this curve and that was all about this problem 3-23. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching and supporting me.